How's it going guys? Welcome to another episode of Sicky TV and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to get live messaging on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Now we all know this is a special feature on the Galaxy Note 8 to uh, send live messaging like as far as GIFs and little animated messages uh, to anybody or you know Facebook or share it like that. Well now somebody over at XDA posted a um, made a little uh, port on over to the S8 and S8 Plus where now whoever has an S8 or S8 Plus are able to enjoy that feature and now you could send these type of messages to anybody you like so it works it works perfectly almost perfectly the only thing is if you're like in a text messaging type of if you're in a text message and you're sending somebody or your conversation with that person you can't directly share it to them you have to hit the share button on the uh, up here on the top when you're done you hit it it does not directly send it to whoever you're in that conversation with that's the only downfall and the only way to bring it up like I said is through the keyboard so you have to hit that share button and then it'll bring up you know who you want to send it to and then you just send it to them so other than that it works perfectly it all the features work you know it's very fun to use and let's go ahead and get down into it now the one of the first things we're gonna do is for some reason uh, you have to go into your lock screen and security scroll all the way down to secure startup if this is on or if this is off you want to make sure it's on to where uh, it'll go through the whole secure starting up and stuff like that you know you enter in your pin and all of that and because uh, if you don't do that and you go to try to install these APKs uh, it won't allow you to install them it'll show the install button and the cancel button but it, it just won't let you push the install button if you have it on turn it off and vice you know stuff like that it, vice versa so uh, once you're done with that and you've restarted your phone you're gonna want to go to the uh, the website which I post in the link down below and you're gonna want to just go through it shows another step-by-step -step here but I'm going to do the video for you and like I said it's over on XDA on how to get the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 live messaging feature on the Galaxy S8 uh, what you're gonna want to do is download these files that gives you uh, three links right here to download them and once you're done downloading them it's gonna uh, you're gonna want to unzip those files and then go into your your downloads and what it gives you is a keyboard app which is a modified Samsung keyboard app uh, live messages and a messaging app uh, these are all modified to work for the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus same everything works on them there's no difference the keyboard you're gonna have two different Samsung keyboards so uh, once you're done with that you're gonna hit each one of these hit install and stuff like that you're gonna want to it'll prompt you to uh, to uh, switch your unknown sources button that way you could install all of these you're just gonna do that and once you're done installing all of these you don't have to reboot your phone or anything you now have the modified messaging app and the modified keyboard app once you get to the keyboard if you're using a different keyboard just go ahead and hit the little icon right there and you're gonna want to switch to Samsung keyboard neutral beta and usually I was using Swift key because I really like Swift key or the uh, Gboard is a really nice keyboard that I've been using recently uh, but in order to use the live messaging you have to use the Samsung keyboard neutral app which Samsung keyboard is okay I'm starting to get used to it but now once you're done with that um, it'll go through the whole setup for setting up the keyboard you can set up the height you know stuff like that preferences and at the bottom here you're gonna have a little cog button which pretty much hold, hold down on that and it'll look like that let me see if I can get back. Sorry, it'll have the little cog button. So once you're done, hold press, long press that, and you're gonna hit the little heart, and that is the live messaging app. All the features are here. The width of the pin, you could change how thick it is, uh, and stuff like that. And then once you're done, you're gonna hit done. It'll save it, and then it's gonna bring up a share button up here. You're gonna hit share, and then send it with whomever you want. So other than that, everything works fine. You have your your effects right here, and you have your colors. Everything works perfectly. It's a really cool app to use. Like I said, if somebody else has a Note 8 and you don't, well, now you could share the same types of messages with them. So enjoy.
anyways uh that was pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video and you found it very useful uh go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and if you found it very useful if you have any questions post them down below and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one